did it. I did it myself. I did it, yo. Mm-hmm. Ladies and gentlemen and everybody in between, I am back with somebody else's hair, but it looks like mine. And guess what? <laughs> it is wine and wigs day. Clink, 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 clink. Mm. Okay, but do you see how stunning this hair is? Do you see the curls? Do you see the waves? It really is giving just for me box like that's always my reference. Is that, does that tell my age? Let's go ahead and get into this wig. Come on somebody. I mean, come on. Before we get into this wig and we get into the details, I'm gonna ask y'all two questions and I'm gonna get up out of here. Can you subscribe and can you hit the post notification bell just so you can see every single time I post? I'm coming to you every single week with brand new wigs. Wigs that look like they your hair. But it's just a brand new scalp. You know what I'm saying? I wanna say thank you to Julia Hair for providing this wig to me and sponsoring this video. So if you did wanna see everything that I did to customize this wig and you wanna get details of how this wig looks straight out of the box, and everything I did to it, please keep on watching and we'll get into a very, very super detailed wig application video and tutorial. So please keep on watching and I'll be back at the very end with my final thoughts and a coupon code. Okay, y'all, let's go ahead and get started with this wig application. But first we need to go ahead and get into the details and I need to take a sip because it's stoke is stoking. <coughs> this wig is from Julia Hair. This is the Julia Hair box and inside the box. Oh, of course you receive your gifts. The gifts are all these things right here. <laughs> they give you this little bag. Of course, you get like a little brush. Girl, these lashes that I could never wear a day in my life. A bonnet and a um, elastic band. Girl, we got basically this looked like a kente cloth headband and another elastic band and a wig cap. Of course, all the stuff that I get in my box probably won't be the stuff that you get in your box, but what you will be getting is your wig. So let me show you what the wig looks like. So this is our wig. This wig is the beautiful 13 by four lace frontal kinky straight wig in 24 inches. It is 150% density and it's in a natural color. Now let me, let me show you what this hairline is looking like. So this wig is supposed to be pre-plugged, but it, it seems like it's like slightly pre-plucked, as you can tell. And the knots, they didn't look pre-bleached to me, so I did bleach the knots. Y'all see them knots? Ooh. Y'all know how bleached knots make me feel. Ooh. Mm. Okay, so inside of the cap, we have uh, three combs and adjustable straps in the back. And the wig comes with a piano key strap. Basically, it's a strap that looks like this that has a slide in attachment so you can attach it and wear this wig glueless if you like. Now, I'm not a glueless girl. We are going to be applying this wig today and we're going to do a little bit of customization. But first, we need to put her on so we know what we doing with her. So, so just to do our base, y'all know what I always do. I don't do the ball cap method because. Girl, we don't have time for that. We're just gonna throw on the wig cap. I mean the wig grip. I got the, my wig grip from Amazon. We put on the wig grip and I'm also gonna put on the wig cap. A, a wig cap won't stay on my head without any help. Okay, she needs a little assistance. Let me toss on the wig. Let me see. Oh, this is like really trying to... Ooh. <laughs> okay, so this hairline how do I feel about this hairline? This is a different sort of hairline. And it's pretty thick, as you can see. Like, it's pre-plucked, like, in the very front. But behind it, girl, it's real thick. I like to make my hairline look more like my natural hairline, so we need to pluck her. But this is what the wig looks like. When I tell you this wig is, oh, baby, this is long and soft. So I'm gonna take my tweezers, and what we're going to do today is pluck this hairline. I'll pluck it like I ain't got no sense, okay? Look how beautiful. Oh, baby, this is gonna be cute. We're gonna pluck this wig together because this is gonna have to be a team effort. I wish I could have y'all hands over here because this is gonna take a minute, but that's okay. This is how I like to pluck. What I like to do is start from the back. When I pluck from the front, it's much easier for me to get obvious ball spots. Girl, I get ball spots. 
but you can't tell because I plucked, plucked from back here. I'm just gonna take the tweezers and pluck from behind and move forward. So this is how I do it. And I like to pull the hair forward so I can see how much I'm plucking. So we'll take a rat tail comb and release the hairs that I just plucked out. And then I just part again and then pluck. And then I part one more time. Usually I part like three or four times before I get to my desired look. As you can see right now, we're like basically all the way in the front. So one side is plucked and one side isn't. Girl, I be thinking this is gonna be like the big difference that the girls, but it's not really a huge, huge difference. Wait, which side is plucked, girl? If I can't tell, I'll go through one more time and pluck and then, girl, I'm done. <laughs> if I can't tell from there, girl, it's, it's not meant for me. So we're just gonna keep plucking. I'm gonna start back at the back. And just do like a light pluck. Once I go through it a second time, oops. It's a little bit of over plucking happening right here. As you can see, it's like a little hole. Oops. But y'all see that? Now there's a huge difference. That second time made the hugest difference. So I'm gonna do the same thing on this side, go through it twice, pluck through, and then go all the way down the hairline and make them match. So let's go, let's, let's keep going. Girl, when I say I plucked this wig to oblivion, it is 3.36, I started at 3.08. That was almost like 30 minutes of plucking. And I'm sweating down. So next we're gonna go ahead and flatten the hairline. Now I, um, I was talking about plucking bald spots and not plucking it in the front. Girl, I plucked a big bald spot. Thank God it's kinda in the baby hair area area i was gonna do a side part we're gonna have to do a middle part because the way i messed up this hairline <laughs> we're gonna go ahead and flatten the hairline so and then see what's the damage that we had did so in order for me to flatten my hairline i like to use oh my god it's stuck in here i like to use a mousse this is the wig and weave fly away and wrap mousse right so it comes with a center part already pre-done for you. So girl, don't try it. What do they say? What's the wheel? What's the wheel? So we're just gonna do a center part. And next I'm just gonna, let's mousse it down. So I like to use the mousse and add it to the hairline. I think I also cut my hairline using them tweezers. I was going in, baby. I started getting mad. I started getting peeved. I was peeved. 
So once I add the mousse, the mousse is added, I like to take a baby hair brush and just kind of So I like to brush it backwards. I guess they do yard work on Wednesdays. Girl, I should have filmed earlier. They just out there working. Let me not complain. When I flatten the hairline, I would use a rapid strip just to flatten it and let it dry. But because, girl, we gotta dice it. We gotta use it. But you can use a blow dryer as well to blow dry it. I'm about to blow dry anyway. I'm gonna use my Dyson with the fly away attachment. And I flattened the hairline backwards just to get it reinforced, extra flat, and just laid like edges. Hopefully you can hear me because the girls are out there doing yard work. Girl. I don't know what's going on. Okay. Girl, you see how good that looks on the hairline? Now, you can clearly see that uh, bald spot. <laughs> it's not, it's bad. It's bad. We can fix it, don't worry about it, but before we fix that, we need to go ahead and tint the lace. The good thing about this lace is that the undertone of it isn't gray. It's more of like a yellowish golden sort of undertone, which makes it super duper easy to conceal. I use the Kellen Derrick Flawless Illusion Lace Tint Spray. Uh, usually I use medium brown, but I have dark brown. So I ordered some more. It ain't came yet. Can I call y'all homegirls? Do you mind? One of the homegirls had said that she ordered hers and it hadn't come yet. So I ordered mine right after hers to see if it will come. Then it came for me neither and I bought a three pack. Although I love this lace tint spray, the shipping ain't really shipping. So, so I'm just gonna use this lace tint spray. Y'all let me know what recommendations for lace tint spray you have below. When I do my lace tint, what I like to do is take the lace tint and I just spray it inside of the cap. And then I take a brush, one of the brushes that they provide inside of the box and I blend it in with the brush. And then I blow dry it to set the color. I blow dry it on high, high, and warm. So I'm just gonna spray it off to the side, and then I'll blend it in, and then y'all see the final result. Next, I'm just gonna go ahead and flatten this hairline. I was gonna wax stick it, but I don't want it to be too oily. I want some lift today. I'm gonna flatten, re-flatten the hairline because you see it's lifted because I blow dried it. I'm gonna re-flatten it with my, girl, I almost dropped this. If I drop this, I clocked out. So I'm gonna take my end of hot comb. I'm gonna pull the wig back because y'all know I don't play about burning my forehead. And I'm just gonna flatten the hairline backwards. There we go. It's done, the hairline has been flattened. And next, all I have to do is cut my lace, baby, and we can lay down this wig. Let me pull this wig back. Actually, let me use this clip. And clip it backwards, and we're just gonna get to cutting, cutting this lace down. So when I cut my lace, I like to go down the center. I know people do it in like pieces, but I, I don't know how to do that. I think it takes skill and I got that skill. Girl, I'm just gonna cut in a straight line like they told us in kindergarten. I'm gonna cut down the middle. And then, I'm gonna cut along the hairline. Girl, I cannot find this hairline to save my life. What is this, baby? What am I cutting? <laughs> Hold on, let me turn this wig to the side so I can see.
y'all see how like a little bit grayish it is? Mm -hmm. I'm nervous. But I'm gonna deal with it. So now we have to apply the wig. Now I'm about to go back to an old faithful because I'm out of my wig gel spray and I'm mad about it. I'm going to use my got high insta hole got to be glued spray. Girl, I'm almost out of this too. Girl, I'm <laughs> love this stuff. So next, let's just go ahead and pull the wig back. And I'm just gonna spray my hairline and apply the wig. So let me make sure. There we go. And I like to spread it with my finger first. I'm trying to figure out if I should work in sections or just go all the way across. I think I'm gonna go all the way across cause I just don't, <laughs> I don't feel like delaying myself today. What am I gonna do now that my fingers are dirty? I ain't got no towels. I ain't never prepared. Where's my, um, all of that. And my forehead done dried. So I'm gonna have to hit it one more time. There we go. Okay, so I already applied one side. I don't, I thought the camera was on my bad girl. But I'm about to apply this side. There we go. It's looking good. Okay. I've laid down the wig mostly. There are some edges that are lifted. And the lifted edges, I think you can kind of tell. Like, these edges are lifted. See? I'm gonna go ahead. I do have this. I have my Wig Dealer Touch Up Lace Bonding Gel. I love using this to really get in there with melting my lace. It looks good from the side. Oh, girl, not. Y'all know it's licked forehead time. Okay, so I'm gonna use this. Lace bonding, uh, wig, lace bonding gel, and oops. What we do is we open it, and what I like to do, you can apply it straight to the lace, but I'm gonna take the little bit of clear gel, place it on my, the end of my rat tail comb, and place it on those edges. Just like to make it melt. Oh, it's looking good already, friend. Okay, so I'll go do this all the way across the hairline. Or you could go over it with your got to be glued spray. But I feel like when I do that, it starts to like relift the hairline and that gets on my nerves. So I just like to go in with some gel and melt it down. Then we'll remove some of that shininess, that gleam that's left. Okay y'all, so I put my hair up in this little section up here because I'm about to do something that probably get on some of y'all nerves. I'ma cut it. I'ma layer it. And y'all ain't gonna do nothing about it. <laughs> so I'ma do some layers right here in the front. So I'm just gonna section the hair away while this hairline is melting. I'm gonna spray the hair down with water and I'm just gonna do a little, just a tiny bit of cutting, you know? So I'm gonna take my continuous spray bottle and spray the hair down, get it wet. So I'm gonna cut just the bad ends off. I'm gonna wet it first. 
and then cut off the bad ends. Let's see. I'm gonna start in the front here. Look at me trying to be a stylist, y'all. <laughs> Look at this. A mess, ain't it? My cut that much off. Okay, and I'm gonna grab the next section and do the same thing. Coming out, girl, I see why I don't really be layering hair. It really be taking a little bit of work. Thank you, Papa. And then cut it. And what do they call it when you cut into it? Point cut? Yeah, that's the word. This section, pull it out, and then, oh, actually I need to take a section from the last section so I know where I'm cutting. Actually, I'm going to take the whole thing, whatever. <laughs> See, look at me, not even following the rules, Chad. There we go. And then I'm just gonna point cut again. Uh oh, not me point cutting. Too short. <laughs> oh, it's layered. Oh, I did it. Okay, I'm gonna do the same thing to the other side. What did I just do? I'm gonna layer. I'm gonna go this way. Come forward. So I'm gonna cut this way. Cut down. Like that. Girl, I don't know what I'm doing. And I'm gonna point cut again. Here we go. Let's take the hair down. And let's see. Yeah, yeah, not gonna work. So I'm gonna take some of this hair forward from the back and I'm just gonna pull it forward. I don't know if this is right, but this is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do it dry because I don't have time to be spraying this <laughs> hair down. Okay, so now we're gonna do the top. I don't wanna mess up this part. So I'm gonna take a wax stick just to make sure we don't lose it. Just doing like this. Cause we about to start cutting. And I'm just gonna cut it in the front like that. This hair is super easy to cut. Okay, and I'm gonna take a triangle piece, move it out to the side, right angle across the face, and oh, that's a lot to cut. Oh, I'm doing it left handed too, girl. Oh, not me looking like Kendall Jenner cutting hair. Point cut. Oh. I got the angle that I wanted. Oh! Let's do the same thing on this side.
let's go ahead and reveal the hairline. I want to see what the hairline is looking like. I had to keep the headband on. Ow. So I didn't mess up the hairline. Ooh. Yes. Hmm. I wish I had my lace tint because it's not really melting melting it's like a little bit highlightery but once i put on my makeup it'll be able to blend in but so far it looks good let me show you up close it's giving a little bit of a halo effect effect now we're gonna go ahead and i already girl i don't think i showed y'all but the layering has so much there's so much movement in this hair there's so much movement and i love that so i'm gonna pull all the hair back because I need to do some baby hairs. I'm gonna lay down, I'm gonna lay down edges, not exactly baby hairs. So it's gonna be like a little bit of a baby hair, but a little bit of an edge. My sort of baby hairs, and if you know anything about my baby hairs, my baby hairs are like teeny tiny little infant hairs. Like they're really, really small, very much embryos, you know? So bring that down, okay. So I'm gonna put, my baby hair is right here. This has already been plucked to oblivion, so I ain't even gotta worry about nothing. <laughs> and I'm gonna take a baby hair brush, which I'm gonna use the comb side, comb through all this hair. We're gonna cut them baby hair, girl. It's real simple over here. I'm not like into like the bang baby hairs i think i'm just too old for that girl i can't do it it'd be looking crazy on me we're just gonna do like the natural ones that look more like edges so i'm just gonna cut this down at an angle like that i got my wig dealer spray it came to the door so yay i'm gonna lay down the baby hairs with wig dealer spray I'm so happy I got this on time. Wait, I'm gonna spray it this way. I'm gonna spray my baby hair brush. I'm gonna let it dry just a little bit so it gets sticky. I will lay the baby hairs down, but oh, look at that hairline. It's a little bit more melted than it used to be. I know y'all are yelling, y'all should have, you should have curled the baby hair. I know, but it be get, it's too close to the face, girl. I'm not trying to burn myself for no baby hairs. I know people curl their baby hairs first. I don't do that. <laughs> Not me, uh-uh. That is much, 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 much better. I just needed it to do that, that right there, okay. And then we do an ear tab. Now the ear tabs, I still don't know like my baby hair style. Sometimes it end up real long and just like sideburny. Is that a word, sideburny? Sometimes it looks like a sideburn. Other times it looks like a baby hair. I don't know what's gonna happen today. But whatever happens, it was unintentional. <laughs> I think that's fine. Right here, cut it down. <sighs> Lay it down with some wig gel spray and we're good. So I'm gonna do the same thing I did up top on this side. Girl, this look like this may be long. Hold on. I don't want this to be long. There we go. I keep this part short, girl. I don't wanna give sideburn, not today. Spray it down. There we go baby hear it oh this is cute okay i can do this oh that's really nice oh okay oh girl that's looking a little it look a little after midnight oh wait what was i trying to say a wolf you know how you transfer to a wolf girl whatever <laughs> let's do this side i'm gonna try and cover up this ball spot right here
Okay, y'all, I need to blow dry this hair to see if I can get it straighter. So I'm gonna go ahead and use the, what is this? The Revlon One Step. Now I feel like I've been on this for a minute and the girls on TikTok are late. Let me mind my business, child. <laughs> me always trying to take credit for something. I know that's right. Somebody give me credit, baby. I'm gonna clip this hair up and I'm just gonna blow dry this hair straight. I'm gonna add a little bit of water to see if it'll like, can you use the red one one step? I guess you can. With wet hair? I hope so. Hopefully the wet, the wetness on this hair will help it straighten just like a little bit better. So let's see. Let me go ahead and take the hot comb and hit the roots. Get that kind of straightened out and then we'll, oh God, this is where I get nervous, baby. Oh God. I'm gonna work through the rest of the hair and then I'll be back. I probably should put heat protectant on it while I'm playing. I'm gonna keep playing. <laughs> put a little water on it. So now it's time for me to curl this hair. Why didn't I? Now I knew. I think I'm gonna use my spinning curl from Chi to curl this hair. So this is a Chi spinning curl. It's an automatic curler if you don't know. Oh girl, not my mic being in the way. This is a automatic curler. Now y'all know that kinky straight hair doesn't curl very well. So hopefully this will curl if I use some um, if I use some hairspray, maybe it'll hold a curl, but y'all know how kinky straight hair can be. <sighs> when I tell you I'm hot, why do I have on sweatpants right now? That's the question. I'm gonna curl this hair with the cheese spinning curl. It's This thing is really quick at curling. It should take me no more than 20 or 30 minutes to curl this hair. So we're gonna curl it, then we're gonna be done. I'm gonna separate the hair, this hair around the crown. And I'm just gonna curl the rest of the hair with the chi spinning curl in a different direction. I'm trying to be more professional. <laughs> Can y'all see? I'm separating hairs and everything. And I'm gonna section this part so we can just work with the back. So I'll work with the back and then the sides. I'm gonna pre-section it so we can just 
work through this real quick. Y'all know I always try and do stuff quick and next thing you know, I'm here for an hour. I hope that's not gonna happen, but you never know with me, child. But okay, let me tuck this hair away. Ooh. Okay. I'm gonna work with these sections in the back. So I can work on this side and then we'll work all the way around the head. And then we'll be done, baby. Look how pretty, stunning, gorgeous this hair is. Now, I feel like these curls are gonna fall any second now, okay? So, they ain't gonna be here for long. She real finicky right now, but the hair is stunning. Let me show you what it looks like in the back too. Let me show you the back. It's so light. It's really, really light. Y'all see them waves? I did that. I did that myself. <laughs> I did, y'all. Mm -hmm. This is the finished look. I'm in love with it. The hair was very, very fluffy. It's gorgeous. Kinky straight hair does not hold a curl. Like, I'm hot. I'm about to start. I'm going to sweat this hair out in like five minutes. Other textures of hair, I don't know if it's like the processing. I'm not sure what it is, but it doesn't really hold a curl. So if you do curl the hair like this, I do think you should probably use the some air spray to keep the curls just a little bit longer. If not, it's better to do like heatless curls. This hair does better with heatless curls, but I didn't have heatless curls time, okay? So we just ended up doing this, which is fine. The only thing I have to say about this wig is plucking the hairline took a long time to pluck it the way I like it. You don't have to go in like I did, but that's how I go in with my wigs. I love for my hairline to look realistic. I plucked a bald spot into it, but oops, okay. <laughs> 
you know that's just what it is but i love this hair i think it looks stunning i love the texture like thank you so much for watching i hope you enjoyed the video girl i've been in here since two o'clock it's 9 15. thank you again to julia hair for providing this wig to me and sponsoring this video i'll leave all the links for the wig down below also if you would like to purchase this wig of course we got a coupon code down below don't miss the coupon girl over here rushing you know what i'm saying slow down get the coupon code <laughs> i love you all thank you so 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 much for watching and i'll see you in my next video bye let me get off of here girl i'm sweat i'm sweating <sighs> okay <laughs>